So if you've watched a few of our videos, you will have seen uh, our, or if you've watched our early videos, uh, we did an unboxing on this product, uh, the Bowdens. Um, it's a portable power generator, they call it, because if you've got solar panels, you can plug them in and it will generate free power from the sun. But what we use it for mainly at the moment is we take it away with us for Maximus to charge all his devices or if we need emergency power. Um, so when we go away or when we go out on day trips, uh, we take it away with us and we mainly charge it off the mains uh, with the provided mains adapter. And when we did the unboxing, uh, you would have seen it comes with a car adapter as well. And it comes with a 12 volt out adapter and it comes with the solar adapter. So you can use all those methods to charge it. Um, I'm not gonna do an unboxing again, there's no need. Uh, you can always go back and watch that terrible video if you really want to. Um, but yeah, suffice to say, we've used it for a year now or just over. And in that year, let's just move that out of the way a second. In that year, we've, uh, we've taken it everywhere with us. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, do a test on it to see where it's still at because this is a uh, lithium iron phosphate power generator. So it is, um, I think there's been another advance since this came out, but it's one of the most advanced battery chemistries you can use. Uh, good for, I mean, they rate this one, I think at three or 5,000 cycles um, before it loses power. So we're gonna test that because we've cycled it a good few times now. It's been away with us. It's charged all the iPads through the USB. Uh, it's got the 12 volt. It's run some 240 stuff, 240 because we're in the UK. Um, it wouldn't run a heater or anything like that, but it would start a diesel heater if you're in the van um, in an emergency and needed power. Uh, as a backup, this would do really well and start a diesel heater. And again, in the UK, if we end up with blackouts, um, it, it probably would start a, uh, you know, a diesel heater, but it would definitely run. And this is one, if you've got some other form of heating, so if you have uh, a portable gas heater or something like that, that you can use for these for the blackouts that may or may not come, um, you could use this to power your uh, router and power a small TV or laptops. Uh, it will charge phones and devices. So, you know, if you've got a source of heat, this will provide a source of light. You can plug a lamp in there or some 12 volt light in, um, and it could be a blackout beater. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'll just give you a quick read of the specs. So I, th I think we, uh, we, were, we were very new when we did this last. So ours is a UK one, so it's 250 volts. Uh, 150 watt max. So uh, even if you were out and about and you were doing weekend camping and stuff like that, it would do straighteners and stuff for the ladies, wouldn't do hair dryers, um, but it has two USB, five volt, 2.4 amps, uh, one USB uh, QC3, which is 18 watt, and that's that top one there. So that's faster charging. Um, and then it has uh, 166 watt hours of power. And that's what we're gonna test. I charged it fully uh, just the other day, but I'll drop it on again, just bring it right up to the top. And then I'm going to use, one second, uh, this device. And what this device does is it uh, uses the power from a battery source to pass heat through a, uh, a thermal conductor and then that heat's dissipated by the fan. But as it does so, it can measure the amount of power taken from the power source till it's depleted. Um, and so we're gonna set this up and we're gonna measure the balance and see how well it does after a year and if it's standing up. And yeah, it's, it's a good product, so we'll do that now. Uh, yeah, so what this does is it draws current off this and then measures the current by the dissipation of heat. Um, now this has got its own BMS in, uh, for those that don't know, battery management system. So it pre prevents overcharge, it prevents over discharge, 
uh, and it cuts out when too much is drawn. So if you, for example, on the 12 volt, you can draw 12 volts, 10 amps continuously over that and the BMS shuts down the battery. Um, and with the plug socket, it's 240 volts, 150 watts. So over that, it shuts down the battery and then 2.4 amps on the USBs and 18 watts. So let's just try that. So I'm just turning this all, which starts drawing through. So that's pulled it up to six amps. So we're at 10.9 there. So it's got a degree of, let's just send it back a little, 9.6, 9.35, and then we can fine adjust it, 10.2. So 9.89 there, 11.1 um, volts. So if we crank that up and send it up to, it's now pulling 13 and that BMS has cut this battery off. So it can no longer draw any current uh, to protect the lithium iron phosphate cells. So I'll just unplug that for a second and I'll reset this battery. Now I'm gonna charge it back up to full again, one last time. Um, and then from there, I'm gonna let it run at 12 volt, 10 amp uh, from full to completely empty and measure the results. So I'm fully charged on the Bowdens. Let's switch it on. Let's put that into an output, power on. Okay, we're on. So we're gonna run at not 16 amp, we overloaded there, so it shut off the BMS, shut it off. Restart that. Bring these both back down to zero. Clear this. Okay, so we're ready. Let's bring this up. So we're on exactly 10 amp now, 11 volts. That's fully charged. We'll let it completely discharge and then see where we're at. So that's the end of that test and uh, it's finished up at 11.43 amp hours when it cut out, um, which is, it was uh, rated at 12.5 amp hours. So after we got it in August, so it's now 16 months, uh, it's running at around 91% still of capacity according to that test, which is, uh, it's very good. Um, there's no voltage regulator on this if you're interested. So you would have seen the voltage had dropped off at the end there, uh, but with it being the lithium ion, it can still push out the 10 amps as well. So it, it, it ran right the way through till it dropped out. That was the Bowden's portable power generator. Um, and as I say, we've used it for all sorts, mainly for charging things as we're out and about, but 
uh, when we had to have the power off when we were doing some work, it ran the, uh, the internet and um, it would start a diesel heater um, if, if you needed that for a backup, if your main batteries had gone. So for van life, it'd be fantastic. Uh, you could keep it in the van and if necessary, you could use the provided adapters to give you um, power to a diesel heater and your lights if your main batteries went out. Um, you can charge it from your van as you're running through the cigarette lighter adapter and then you can use it through the USB ports or the 12 volt out. Um, I just used a 12 volt out there wired directly into my little test machine. But that's it. So I'll leave a link in the description below and uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, see you next time. Oh my knees. <laughs>